All right, friends, here we have the Ignite 4K, quote unquote. It's the R1600 slash 1D. It says 4,000 watts max all over the box. Uh, but yet the manual says 750 by one at one ohm. So we're trying to get, hey, let's see if we can at least get half of that 4,000 watts peak. So let's try dynamic RMS power at half an ohm. Yes, I said half an ohm. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. Videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. What's up guys, Big D Wiz here, Williston Audio Labs. Today we have a $75 amplifier from Amazon and this one's rated pretty high. It's an Amazon's choice. Up near the top, you know, this might have replaced the Boss 4K as their most popular seller. So let's unbox it, see what it's about. 750 by 1 at 1 ohm, 530 by 1 at 2 ohms, or 300 watts at 4 ohms. Although it says 4,000 watts all over the box, we're going to test it out, see what it actually does, and see if it's worth your $75. So stay tuned. So you only have $75. For a subwoofer amplifier and you're looking at amazon trying to see which one you can get and you come across this ignite 4k you see it has 4.4 out of 5 stars so what do people say about it this amp for the price is insane amp has a low response and puts considerably more than its rms ratings yeah blew away me literally my two 12 inch sub slammed so hard you big dummy so as i always do i decided to get one of these in and let's check it out and see what it really does First off, you can see the amplifier here. It's called the R1600-1, but yet it's rated 750 by one, and it's got 4,000 watts all over the box. So whatever. First off, let's check out the dimensions. <laughs> the uh, length is 8.9 inches or 227 millimeters. The width, 13.66 inches or 347 millimeters. And the height is a standard around 2 inches or 52 millimeters. On one end of the amp, we have insert terminals here for power ground and remote. So you do have to use spade terminals. Three 30 amp fuses for 90 amps of fusing, power protection, light, and we have dual outputs for speakers, although this is a mono amplifier. On the other end, you can see four RCA jacks. What's up with that? Yes, this amp is strappable, but don't read the manual because they have it listed wrong. You need to go out of the main amplifier in to the secondary amplifier. It also has a gain, bass boost, low pass filter, adjustable subsonic, get that, phase shift, and a bass remote. Yes, it comes with a metal bass remote with a power LED on it. Can you believe that? Check out the connection here. It does have two different sizes on these connectors. So make sure the bigger size goes into the remote. The smaller size goes into the amplifier. Now I know this is probably way overkill, but we use four gauge OFC wiring. Make sure we have plenty of juice here, get the power ground hooked up and also the remote terminal in the middle. And then we're gonna use eight gauge OFC for the speaker leads. And again, there are two outputs. You can either use one or two. Now we have the amp all wired up. Let's fire up the amp dyno. And all the tests you're gonna see here, friends, are RMS power. That's right, these are not peak, these are RMS. So let's start off first, four ohms. We're gonna do 40 hertz, 1% THD, also known as a certified mode on the dyno. It's rated 300 watts at 14.4. And yeah, we got 340, although our voltage is a little bit higher. Still impressive. 82.4% efficient too, hmm. Very interesting. Well, let's try it out at two ohms. Certified 1% THD at 40 hertz again. It's rated 530 watts. We get 565 at 14.75. 79.5% efficient. Pretty good so far. All right, we got this Ignite 4K, the R1600 slash 1D. $75 amp on Amazon loaded at one ohm. We're going to do certified up to 1% THD at 40 hertz. Manual says 750 watts. 
The box says 4,000 max. We don't care about that. Let's see if we can get 750. Here we go. All right, we get 806. Our voltage is a little bit high. We got 14.6, a little bit higher than what you'd see. Uh, so we'll try a different test later and see if we get a little bit lower voltage, but there you go. Did it's rated power plus some. Just why R1600 and why 4,000 watts? Here the efficiency, you can see 63.8. It drops off quite a bit compared to four ohms or two ohms. Now let's lower the voltage. This time we're gonna use the caps instead of the 14 volts battery so I can drop the voltage a little bit. Let's see what we get. One ohm, it's rated 750. 756 at 14.11, so yeah, good job. Now let's run it up to clipping at 40 hertz. This is really what the subwoofer amplifier should be measured at, in my opinion, because this is a $75 amp. 908 watts at 14.43 volts, 66.2% efficient. So yeah, again, drops off efficiency quite a bit at one ohm. Now let's try one ohm dynamic RMS power. This simulates kind of musical dynamics of the amplifier being sent a pulse tone. You can see 1114 watts. Voltage is a little high, 14.83. Still pretty impressive. Here are the results of the Ignite, 340 watts, 379 and 387 at four ohms. Certified, uncertified and dynamic respectively. At two ohms, we got 565, 622, and 695. Again, everything over the rated power, if you ignore the 4,000 watts on the box. And then at one ohm, 756, 908, and 1114. Absolutely incredible for $75. Now let's try it out some more with some bass song. Let's see what it sounds like with some DJ Magic Mike. Kick it, DJ Magic Mike. Here we've got the Ignite hooked up to the AMM1 and hooked up to a four ohm infinity speaker, which I think is five ohms when we run this 40 hertz track. But we're gonna try it out and see what we get. So let's start up the track. See what kind of power we get to a speaker, four ohm speaker. Three hundred and fifty-five watts at four point five ohms, according to the AMM one on the Infinity Sub. All right, so you've seen the amp on the dyno, you've heard it playback bass tracks, you've seen how the bass knob works, all that good stuff. Let's take the bottom plate off the amplifier and see how this Joko ticks. Now they got a little seal here that I had to break, unfortunately, lost my warranty. But hey, I do these things for you guys. Here are the internals. It looks, you know, like a 750 watt amp. Nothing real special here. Uh, we've got four filter caps. We've got four rail caps. And everything looks, um, you know, it looks like it's mounted pretty well. Pretty nice design. But check out this model number here. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. But um, yeah, everything was seated well on the board. Uh, nice layout. But we found this model number, there's BLI 800.1 DB. Did a little research and found ADS is now owned by a Chinese company. This is their low end model. Yeah, big D, oh man, what a bummer. These guys used to be the highest end back in the day, but you can see the ratings there are very similar, but this one uses four 40 amp fuse times two instead of three 30 amps, kind of odd there. 
but here are the rail caps you can see 63 volt 220 microfarad some no name brand i'm sure and we've got 220 microfarad 25 volts for the filtering and here it is i mean it looks pretty good you know when it's laid up against the hot rod although you can't see the rest of that car gotta stay tuned for future episodes more stuff coming out you can be excited just like me anyway amp overall 75 dollars you cannot knock it unbelievable if you're getting into car audio want some bass go pick this up 75 bucks you're going to want to upgrade to a better amp later but man can't go wrong having a brand new amp 75 bucks it works has a bass knob with a light good deal i approve just take the 4000 watts off the box please and don't call it ignite this big d whiz until next time you know where i am i'm out of here All right, with the Ignite R1600, we're gonna try, hold your hats, 0.8 dynamic burst. Can it handle it? Is it gonna go up in smoke? Well, let's find out. All right, looks like it handled it. We got 1100 watts, which is right about the same we got at one ohm all right the ignite quote unquote 4k the r1600 we're going to try 0.67 dynamic burst are we crazy yes it is a 75 dollar amp off amazon which is performed amazingly up to this point so let's see if it'll go into protect if it does big power if it blows up let's find out here we go All right, no protect, 1222 watts at 14 volts. Wow, I really thought it was gonna go into protect or go in smoke. Uh, 0.5, should we? Mm, I don't know, I don't wanna blow it up, but hey, what the heck, let's try it. All right, friends, here we have the Ignite 4K, quote unquote, it's the R1600 slash 1D. It says 4,000 watts max all over the box. Uh, but yet the manual says 750 by one at one ohm. So we're trying to get, hey, let's see if we can at least get half of that 4,000 watts peak. So let's try dynamic RMS power at half an ohm. Yes, I said half an ohm. Don't do this at home, friends. This is just for fun. This means nothing in the real world except for watching the dyno, maybe watching some smoke, watching some electricity, hopefully not. Let's find out. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. All right, 1,212 watts. We put the amp in to protect. I'll show you that. We see red power protection light. I think it'll still work, though. Let's turn it off. Let it sit for a minute. Turn it back on. There we go, green light. You big duck. Nice protection circuit tree for a $75 amp, but I don't know where they came out with this. Just take that off.